Okay, let's go. Hi, y'all. I'm Redheaded Neighbor, and welcome today to the neighborhood. So today, I thought <laughs> I would like to listen to this song. Um, it's from, I think I believe it's a Gershwin song, and it was written for the play Poor GM Bess, and it was originally... I think it was originally done by Louis Armstrong and what's her name? I don't know, but she's incredible. <laughs> um, gosh. Oh, Ella Fitzgerald. That's it. Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. 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 That's right. Ella Fitzgerald. Um, so anyway, I've listened to a lot of covers of this and a lot of them are, are good and a lot of them are really bad. But this is my favorite. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like it's done in a very knowledgeable, respectful way, um, if that makes any sense. But, you know, I think this might be the song that really got me... Um, feeling affectionate to Billy Strings. I mean, Dustin and Baggy is, is fantastic. But to be able to do this song like this, um, you know, I think was is pretty special. Him and Marcus King kind of kind of have this relationship. This One, two. So the guitar parts both I think are excellent. Um, I really like Billy Strings the uh, the acoustic part. I love that. And uh, Marcus King looks like he's about fifteen, doesn't he? He's got that baby face. <laughs> into this next part I mean I think his vocals were so good on that and the way that he portrayed the lyrics and I just I felt like it was I don't know not, like maybe not even written for like an opera you know um 
of course he's singing it very different but i feel like the integrity of the song is still very good there it's excellent and not to mention they're playing like he did this series of i think they were harmonics on there that i've honestly never noticed until just now with the headphones on um that's just how easy he made that look it's insane because your mama and your pappy honey they're standing by he's feeling playing that right like his eyes have stayed closed he just he knows where the notes are I can't imagine being that proficient you know he just he knows where the notes are just by how he's feeling and he's just and that's not I don't think that's his guitar because it's still got a tag on it so I think they're in like a music store and playing the guitars there so he's just like <laughs> busting out on these guitars they both are they are both so incredibly talented Mama's good looking. Hush, little baby. Honey, don't you cry. I said, Hush, little baby. Don't you cry. so much i just think that's so good so are you guys fans of billy strings um marcus king did you know one and not the other like like where do you stand with these guys because i think who did i know first i don't know which one i knew first but um i listen to billy strings more than i do marcus king so i can't say that you know and, and I don't listen to either one of them a whole whole lot but I would like to listen to more I would love to see Billy Strings um, he is <laughs> he's family anyways um, yeah thank you so much for being here and I hope you liked that I hope you enjoyed that version like I said I've heard a lot of different versions of that song some I thought were excellent some I thought were painful and um, but this one I think is probably my favorite. So until next time, y'all, thank you so very much for being here. And yeah, we'll listen to more music again later. And y'all have been making me smile a lot lately. Thank you. <laughs>